Hey friends, do you have an application that requires extremely high IOPS and sub-millisecond latency? Azure UltraDisks offer 80,000 IOPS on a single disk with two gigabytes throughput all within less than one millisecond. This means UltraDisks are the most performant disks available in the public cloud. Ong is here to show me how just incredibly fast these disks are today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, it's Azure Friday, and I'm going to learn about the Azure Ultra Disk. It's Ultra. I love the name. Whatever it is, I want it. <laughs> That's great. We launched Ultra Disk last August, okay. and this is the first disk disk that we offer in managed disk portfolio. So wow. we are super excited. Adoption has been great. Mm -hmm. So how do I know if I need this? Like if I have lots of money and I don't care about anything, I just say, give me the fastest disk. But what kind of workloads is this optimized for? Well, application which requires very a lot of IOPS with within the single sub millisecond latency, wow. this is the disk that you need to use. For example, like retail applications, mm -hmm. customer will wait. You know, you have the spinning thing; mm -hmm. they don't have to wait. And then the applications can use ultra disk, and then they can achieve very lots of transactions while maintaining sub millisecond latency. Okay, so this is fast to seek and fast throughput. That's correct. Okay, so um, do you have a demo? Can you show me how fast it is? Can you prove sure. it? Sure. So I'm going to show you two demos. All right. One is that I'm going to run a benchmarking application it's called IOMeter. You all sure. are aware of that to show you the specification of how the capabilities of the disk first. All right. So then you will ask me all, how do customer leverage that in real life application? Right. So second demo, I'm going to run MariaDB, which it's an application which requires lots of I/O intensive workload, right? right? And with the single ultra disk and uh, how it's performed. Right. So there are two dom demos, and then let's dig right in. Let's do it. So on my desktop, I'm running a, a I/O meter tool. So this is a remote desktop into a VM sitting on an ultra disk. That's correct. ES64 v3 VM with single ultra disk. Okay. Right. Is the is the is the ultra disk in this case an attached disk or is the system disk? The it's an attached disk. Attached data disk. disk. Data disk. All right. So single disk attached to ES64 v3 VM. Some in before ultra disk, customer have to stripe through many disks mm -hmm. to achieve that. They don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna run random write workload. Write workloads are more latency insensitive. Okay. And then I am go I'm just showing it to you. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to launch it. I'm not going to save the results, and then show the results display. So it's As already you can, over yes. eighty thousand. Yes, the spec is eighty thousand IOPS on a single disk, while maintaining. I will show it to you. Sub millisecond latency here. It's so small it doesn't even show up on the graph. Yeah, it is. So then I'm going to show you another demo. So this is basically 80,000 IOPS on a single disk with sub-millisecond latency, and also it's achieving lots of I, uh, throughput. So again, a lot of customers ask, this is great, but how do I use it in the real-life applications? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to launch uh, MariaDB running on a single ultra disk, and then I'm going to hit the ultra disk, uh, the MariaDB with uh, many VMs. So I already launched uh, 50 VMs hitting on the single MariaDB, and then each VM is running four, uh, four threads. So basically, 200 tra uh, transactions mm. hitting the MariaDB simultaneously. Okay, so these these are all in these all these VMs are going to go and talk to that MariaDB. MariaDB is sitting on a single disk, and they're effectively sharing it in that they're being fronted by that MariaDB. So that disk is going to be asked to do a lot of kind of random access seeking around. That's correct. Consider that as like 200 people hitting the, the database at the same time, mm -hmm. right? And I'm going to show you. So this is currently running. Uh, the VMs are currently running. And then if you look at the MariaDB, this is on a Linux server with single, single, uh, single ultra disk. You can see that it's achieving 80,000 IOPS. And then also, if you look at the latency, this is a less than one millisecond, sub millisecond latency. So wow. this is the real-life applications. 
I've seen, I've seen applications where people have come to me and said, I want to build something on Azure, but the, or I want to build something in the cloud, and they found that it was the, the disk was too slow. Like a very naive example was they had gigabytes and gigabytes of TIFF files. They were just big images, and they wanted to go and do an OCR, resize, turn into a PDF, and they were just beating on the disk. And they were just like, oh, I don't want to do the striping. I know I could do it in this way with 100 disks, but it was just a hassle because it was a job they wanted to run and then be done with. I'm hearing that ultra disk would be perfect for that. Yes, ultra disk. We design ultra disk to solve that type of problem. Mm -hmm. So single disk, you don't have to stripe it, you don't have to debug it, and then you will be achieving 80,000 IOPS on a single disk, and then while maintaining sub-millisecond latency. Does it work with any VM, or do I have to have a certain premium VM before I can plug an ultra disk so in? Currently, we offer on ES uh, VM, ES and VMs. ES VMs, and then but we are expanding it to other VM types as well. Okay, so if I've got an ESVM already or I want to upscale something to an ES, I can go and add an ultra disk and I can mix and match oh, disk yeah. flavors? Yes, yes. So OS disk can be premium disk, but ultra can be data disk. Okay. Right, so you could um, uh, mix and match like you said. Okay. That's a good question. And uh, can I use it for a while and then when I'm done I can throw it away or do I have to pre-buy or buy you know, an ultra disk for a year or is this as I use it? How is the pricing? This basically, as you use it, uh, we provide flexibility. So uh, right now you can buy a disk type, you know, like for example, like 512 GB. Mm -hmm. And then we also give you the flexibility that you can configure up and down on IOPS. So you are charged by number of IOPS that you use. It's not oh. the fixed thing. So for example, like in premium, we did that, you know, uh, this particular disk site, you provision and then it gives you certain IOPS, right? Mm -hmm. With Ultra, you can dial up and dial. Really? So that's the flexibility that we build in. So if I don't need 80,000, I can get 40,000 or something yeah, else and move sure. it down and I pay differently. Yeah. That's crazy. And this is available now? Yeah, it is available. It's uh, general availability. Mm -hmm. We announced general availability last month and then uh, at Ignite, we are expanding to many regions. Mm -hmm. Currently in, available in three regions and then we will have it in like six or seven Azure key regions in at Ignite. Okay, so it's slowly rolling out through the world and it's going to be near you to you know very, very soon. That is correct. All so right. We have we will have a session at Ignite mm -hmm. dedicated to Ultra Disk. Come and watch us. And if you have any questions, send an email to Azure Disk PM at Microsoft.com. Azure Disk P Azure Disks PM at Microsoft.com. If you're watching this after Ignite 2019, make sure to go back and look at the on-demand video to see the Ultra Disk session and the information that happened at Ignite. Fantastic. I'm learning all about Ultra Disks. I'm going to go make my systems faster right now, today on Azure Friday.